All right, in case you uh, have not heard, Dorian has become a hurricane. In case you had not seen, we are in the cone of concern. But because we're talking about in the five to six day area, that cone of landfall is large. Uh, chances are almost as likely in Palm Beach as they are up in Savannah and Charleston. But certainly, um, if you haven't been yet, uh, now is the time to keep a close watch on Dorian. Uh, there you see what Dorian has been doing through the afternoon. And remember, even if you're not getting numbers from the hurricane hunters or even from the hurricane center itself, just think symmetry. The more symmetrical this begins to look, uh, more than likely the stronger the hurricane is. Once you see an eye in the infrared satellite picture, and this is an infrared satellite picture, once you see an eye that stays there, that is definitive, looks like a pinhole, then you know it has become a major hurricane. Uh, the worst of the weather looks like it's passing just east of uh, Puerto Rico, but still Puerto Rico being hit hard. Here's the official cone of concern. Also shows the intensity gradually intensifying to a major hurricane. Could it become even stronger than a three? It could. Is it a guarantee it's going to be a major? No, uh, but this is a compromise of all the different significant scenarios that could occur, especially over this large of an area. This hurricane is still 1,600 miles away, folks. Uh, think about the variables we have here simply with thunderstorms, and those, those kind of variables exist all the way between us and uh Puerto Rico. Timing of the landfall is uh, has slowed down a little bit if you've been watching us for the last several days. And it looks like landfall would be in the Sunday night to Monday period, depending on how far south or north you are. The farther to the south it makes landfall, probably earlier. The farther to the north it makes landfall, probably a little bit later. And uh, we will be showing you the updates. We promise you that official forecast will be changing. I'm not saying for the good or the bad, but it will be changing because as new data comes in, uh, more and more of the computer models will be agreeing. When that's going to occur, that's tough to say. I can tell you that the looking at just the best computer models, we're gonna, not going to show you all of the computer models and add to drama. We're just going to show you the best. And uh, through almost, almost landfall, pretty amazing um, agreement that is heading to the northwest then heading west northwest or across the northern bahamas but then right about at landfall look at the spread even of the best computer models uh, some take it straight into the gulf and some recurve it up the coast and uh, thus the variety so uh dorian uh, at the very least we can say will be very near us will be impacting us on monday uh overall our weather will be unsettled from Friday through probably Tuesday. Again, as a reminder, the forecast track in the cone will be changing. Our most significant local impacts right now look to be at the earliest Saturday evening and then possibly as long as Tuesday morning. Uh, here's another way to look at the, uh, at the very least, the 60 mile per hour winds. Why are we showing you 60 uh, when there's going to be higher winds? Because even at just 60, remember, a severe thunderstorm warning is issued when uh, winds hit 60. So if nothing else, this tells you uh, where winds will be strong enough to possibly cause some wind damage and at least some power outages. And at least this particular graphic uh, shows the focus over central Florida, uh, but then peek it off to the right as well. Uh, even though this is a compact hurricane, uh, that means it's small in size, but it's uh, energized. Um, its overall impact will not be large. Nonetheless, um, as with most hurricanes, uh, the most widespread impacts will be off to the right. And of course, if it makes landfall over central Florida, we would be off to the right with a more significant impact for those in St. John's versus those of you in uh, Glen counties. But that's for now. Again, we promise you there will be adjustments. So uh, occasionally check in with the updates and we will have updates for you as conditions warrant.